So we found this nice secluded spot up in the Bighorn Mountains. And it's our maiden voyage with the uh, Symmetry trailer. I want to show you some of the upgrades that I've done with the wiring and electrical and run you through my thought process with that. So one of the big things that I wanted to make sure of was that if there was ever an issue with the electrical, that we would be able to figure out what was going on fairly easily. So I've gone through and redone all the electrical, the, the panel here, so that I can see everything that's going on. So first off, we've got our standard electrical switches that Symmetry provided. Nothing really changed there. You know, we've got voltage indicator here. We've got a nice USB outlet there. Uh, this is for the lights in the lower compartment, lights in the upper compartment, our water pump, and then this is a switch for the fridge. The big difference was all the electrical components, uh, fuses, all that stuff were back behind this panel. And so if anything happened to it, say you know, lost power, you'd have to rummage around in the back of the trailer to, to figure out what the heck was going on. Well, what I did is I took and moved everything to the front. So I purchased this Blue Sea uh, fuse block and everything is wired. Uh, this is temporary in right now. This is actually the uh, ignition trigger wire for the Red Arc panel. Uh, this is our panel voltage, so that's what I'm seeing up here. We've got all of our lights, so both of these are tied into a central uh, fuse, water pump, fridge, and then accessory power comes to here, and then also another one down below. So our supply power, this is coming from the battery. These two fuses actually run this direction. So we're coming from the battery, running through a 30 amp fuse. Then that comes around over to here and then actually comes in on this side. I like everything going left to right. So it comes in here, powers these fuses. The Red Arc itself, uh, it, when it's tied to the solar panel, uh, that power comes in over here. When it's tied into the seven pl uh, pin connector for the GX, power comes in here. This system is regulating it. You can actually see here, we come through and it'll show whether or not I'm connected to the vehicle or to uh, solar or if I'm plugged in. And I actually move, if we come over here, I've got a handy dandy 110 plug right there so I can have the entire trailer uh, all locked up, an extension cord plugged in there and I'm providing power to the Red Arc. Then from the Red Arc, we're coming out we come through a 40 amp fuse, come out this side, and then that actually powers down to the battery, which is located down below on the opposite side. So this is our setup. One of the cool things I did an extra upgrade was I changed the switch here to a toggle. Uh, I like this idea better than just a, a little rocker switch. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is our electrical system for our symmetry trailer. So there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that provided some good information if you're upgrading your symmetry trailer. Uh, you can see there we've got our Howling Moon tent. Uh, this will be the first night in it, so hopefully that works well. Uh, you will remember that we purchased this trailer. I think we actually took delivery of it in February, uh, but right when we took delivery of it, our white GX was rear-ended and totaled. And so we're slowly building the Gray Ghost. I don't know if that's going to be the name, but we'll find out. And uh, building it into our new off-road vehicle. Anyway, like and comment. Let me know if you guys have questions. And uh, talk to you later.